Nigeria has recorded yet another case, positive case of coronavirus. One new case of COVID-19 has been confirmed in FCT Nigeria National Center for Disease Control said on Sunday. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control announced this via its Twitter handle on Sunday, and this brings to 27 the total number of confirmed cases of the infection in Nigeria, with four of them in Abuja and 19 others in Lagos State. And I'm being joined by Dr. Akin Toba Akin Tayo, who is a public health practitioner. Good to have you here. It's a pleasure. Now let's talk about coronavirus. That's the only conversation we have, uh, you know, everywhere in the media. And because we are committed to spreading the facts and not, you know, the false and not the fear, also we want practitioners like you to help us uh, to shed light on certain issues. So let's begin with social distancing. Uh, for instance, how does that, you know, outplay here in Nigeria? How should it rather outplay in Nigeria? Well, as a background information, um, coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, uh, that's coronavirus infectious disease, the new strain that was discovered in 2019, mm -hmm. um, is a highly infectious disease. And uh, most of the time, the highly infectious disease, uh, what we usually, in public health, what we, the strategy that we usually use is to screen people for it. There are screening tools that we use, questions mm -hmm. and travel history and all of that, um, and some clinical symptoms. Then those that have those things, uh, this, that met, meet those protocols, we identify them. Mm -hmm. And having identified them, we need to uh, um, isolate them and do the necessary investigations. Then, um, of course, the, uh, the investigations and uh, after the identification, we must inform the health care professionals right. that are trained on the protocols that has to be adopted mm -hmm. in the uh, containment. Let's move on from, from that a bit now mm -hmm. and see. Um, Government has placed a ban on, you know, schools, on churches, on social gatherings. Any in fact, any gathering that is above twenty, um, you know, how do you think that is going to affect people who are in the medical uh, sector? For instance, are they still going to be able to deliver on what they are supposed to deliver? It has been established that one person that is infectious or that is incubating that infection within five days can spread it to average of three persons. Mm. And that, that person, if it's left uh, not properly monitored, can even spread it within 30 days to about 406. Mm. You can see one person. If one person can infect and you now go and, I mean, assess it exponentially, the risk of spreading the infection is even higher if one person is just ask to do self-quarantine. Mm -hmm. Then if you do moderate quarantine, say, okay, uh, like what we are doing now, schools go home, I mean, students go home yeah. and all those things, that one may reduce the risk, maybe by really 50%. Mm. All right, going by what you have just said, uh, this explanation you gave, is that, does that explain why we are seeing almost a very rapid increase in Lagos? Because we moved from one to four, and then we moved to 12 and to 22, and even to 27 uh, right about now. Um, the main reason why we have a um, high number of cases is because of the influx of people. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people are returning because, I mean, uh, it has become a global pandemic now. A lot of people are moving around. And again, because of the uh, information that are traveling around, misinformation, mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, the, I mean, a uh, hot environment like our climate, uh, it's advantageous. I say that is false information. Right. So the a virus or infectious disease doesn't respect geographical boundaries. Mm -hmm. The best thing we need to do is to avail ourselves the information from scientific bodies, medical doctors, uh, World Health Organizations, mm -hmm. ministries of health to give us accurate information okay. on uh, how to contain this infection. We've heard the NAVDAC has given its approval for the use of chloroquine for a test trial. Should we be hopeful that just maybe we are close to finding a solution? Uh, let me put it this way. I think um, we shouldn't jump into conclusions regarding the use of chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine as the case may be. 
The problem with uh, us in this country is that uh, we, we, we dwell so much in the value of ignorance. Hmm. Instead of um, um, uh, encouraging ourselves, building off um, a knowledge infrastructure. You know, in advanced society, people would rather listen to the professionals instead of listening to um, uh, unfounded, uh, I mean, uh, unproven if, I mean, uh, information mm -hmm. from uh, um, experienced sources. Let me say that, um, um, first and foremost, there are clinical trials ongoing, and there are processes of um, accepting certain drugs. There are ethical considerations for accepting drugs for clinical trials. Right. I can authoritatively say that in Nigeria, some trials are ongoing, mm -hmm. but you know, because of the fact that um, you know, people would rather listen to information without listening to further explanations. Mm. And that's why I would say that um, the use of chloroquine should be disregarded for now because of the attendant complications. All right. It should be disregarded. Okay. Um, now, shall we see the demonstration of how to uh, put on the face mask? Well, like mind? I said, the first thing to do is to ensure that the hand is properly washed. Right. Ensure that all other jewelries and some of those things are removed. Then, if the um, if water, soap and water is not available, mm -hmm. the other means. But soap and water is the best. Okay. The other means to use um, quick action, uh, aqua based hand sanitizer. Right. And it is the same principle. Apply it into the hand. When it is generously applied into the hand, you rub it together mm -hmm. to the hand then when it is rubbed interlaced in between the web spaces then turn it to the back of the hand mm -hmm. do it both sides then because the fingernails are important as well you need mm -hmm. to ensure that the fingernails are equally uh, dealt with and equally the, on, on both sides mm -hmm. then thereafter the thumb must be dealt with and hair then the wrist, then you allow it to dry. Mm. If it is water and soap, the same process as well, then uh, one can use uh, disposable uh, towel or wipes and uh, ensure that it's properly discarded. Then thereafter, uh, the uh, face mask, there are two sides of the face mask, like I said, uh, the information on how to use it is boldly written yeah. on the container. It's not mm -hmm. when one is, one is about to use it that you start looking for the information. Right. The direction for use is there. Mm -hmm. uh, the direction for use says that the colored part mm -hmm. must be, yeah, can we have be, one must be outside. Mm -hmm. And the, the proper way of taking it is that it has uh, a kind of loop at the mm -hmm. sides. Yeah. When you are picking it, you only pick it at the loops. And uh, putting it at a distance, you see that at the lower side, you have um, a metal strip. Right. So therefore, the, that metal strip is supposed, uh, supposed to be up, because that's the one that will sit on the nose, on the nose bridge. Yeah. So this is the correct way to apply it, sitting on the nose bridge. Mm. Then, and there you go. Then you use your hand to pinch that metal part so that it rests squarely on the nose bridge. And uh, at the tip, you pull this one down, the lower side down so that mm -hmm. it covers the nose and the mouth. That is the appropriate way to wear it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the essence of doing this is that, the, as I'm speaking now, you know, uh, some droplets are coming out from, I, I mean, uh, inhalations and I mm -hmm. mean, some of those things. So, uh, the vapor are coming out and so on. So the, the inner part of the mask absorbs whatever thing that is coming out from me. Okay. Whereas the outer part mm -hmm. is preventing uh, all other things coming from entering my, my own nose as mm -hmm. well. So it's, it has that, uh, that process. Like I said, there are protocols. The other protocol is that even when you put on the mask, you are not supposed to touch any part of it apart from the string. And again, remover. Okay. Remover yes. is, um, you remove it gently from the strings as well. Okay. Ensure that not part of it touches you. 
mm. and, take and it discard. and discard immediately into mm. covered bin so that I can because it's regarded as a medical waste mm. so that I can it will not contaminate the environment. Mm. Thank you so very much, Doctor. I can tell you, I wish we had more time, but this is the bit, the much that we can take. Thank you for keeping us more informed. Thank you.